Yay! Look! Pink strawberry burger! <laughs> Hi Barbie dolls! I'm Mrs. Barbie, Barbie lover in West Hollywood. Thanks for watching my video. Today I'm doing pink food cooking. Yay! Today I'm showing you the pink dessert sandwiches. Oh my god, look at this. Look at these pink buns. Oh my god. I literally made these buns from scratch. Super cute. Aren't these the cutest buns you've ever seen? To me, they are. Today, I actually, I wanted to bake pink bread and I failed twice. But I really didn't want to give up and they turned out super, super good. But today, I'm going to show you how I made this and also I will show you how I failed. And at the end, I'm going to try these. I'm going to eat this. I mean, I don't want to eat them. They look too cute to eat. So let me show you how I did the first. And I think that recipe was just too hard for me or I was doing something wrong and anyway, it didn't work. As always, I was trying to use more beet powder to make it healthier. But you know, with bacon, uh, using beet powder is pretty hard because sometimes the color turned really, really dark. But I think the reason why I failed was living time was too short. And also the dough was too sticky. And yeah, so at the end, dough didn't raise at all. See? Okay, even before bacon, it doesn't look good at all. <laughs> look at this. I was like, what? Eat this, you know. So I gave the second try. And this time, I still deal with like same recipe. But I put more flour this time because the first try I thought it was too soggy and sticky. Yeah, so for the second try I put a little more flour so it didn't look that sticky anymore. And this time I tried with food color. I know you guys don't like food color but you know I don't eat food color every single day so don't worry about my health. <laughs> anyway, because beet powder sometimes makes the things a little soggy. Yeah, so that's also why I tried with artificial food color this time. This time looked a little bit better than the first try, but still it didn't raise much. Yeah, I think it was just about living time. But anyway, I tried bacon. Didn't raise much. <laughs> uh, let's see. You know what? <laughs> it totally looks like panini. <laughs> And I'm going to definitely try another bread with another recipe because I really want to do it today. But this one, I'm not going to throw away, but I'm going to eat it. Starting over again. I'm not giving up. I'm not going to use the, the baking pan anymore. Sugar and salt. Tiny bit of beet powder. Just a little bit because I think I'm going to put the food color anyway and put yeast some water that mix should I put food color now? I don't know when I should put but let me put it now The color looks so uneven, but actually the marble <laughs> looks pretty. Now he has butter and little by little. Now the whole color is getting pinker. It's not marble anymore. Now it's pretty pink though. Very 
feels so good. Keep doing this for five minutes. It feels, the texture feels totally different from when I failed. This one feels way flawless. Really soft. Okay. And leave it for 50 minutes. Oh my gosh, it takes time. Hope it's worth it. I was already so hungry when I was waiting for it. So I decided to make pink avocado spread and decided to eat the pink panini from my second try. <laughs> like this. Look. I just made this open sandwich with my special pink panini bread <laughs> with pink avocado leaf. Let me eat it. Mmm! Yummy! Sorry, I'm not really ready for camera right now. <laughs> but I swear this is so good. So after 50 minutes, it got raised, right? Yeah, it looks bigger. So now I'm gonna... Wow! Fluffy! It may be too small, huh? Like this, maybe? Let's make six. I'm making like round one. <laughs> Super cute. Okay, <laughs> like this. Don't let it dry. Let's wrap it. Now they look like this. Think. They got even bigger. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put these into the oven. Okay, it's been 12 minutes. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Super cute. Wow, it looks like pink bands. Yay! So at the third try, I switched to a different shape and it looks like it works. Oh my god, it smells so good and looks pinker in a person. Okay, now I'm making pink lip cream. I don't have raspberry jam today and also beet butter make whipped cream a little bit soggy sometimes so this time good color and sugar okay pink cream is done I have some strawberries here Maybe I will slice. Okay, so now I have sliced strawberries and pink whipped cream and Barbie plate. And I have pink buns. <laughs> Let me cut this half. Wow, it looks perfect. Beautiful. And here I'm putting cream. And put strawberries. Mmm, it's good. How about put like this? And go like this. <gasps> Look! Pink strawberry bagger. <laughs> Super cute. Okay, let me make it. One more. Two more. I'm gonna make savory one in another episode because I made six buns total. Remember, I was gonna make a different type of bread today. First of all, I was going to make like strawberry sandwich with regular sliced bread, you know? But now I made pink buns. They actually turned really, really good. You always get something when you don't give up and retry. 
more cream look cuter. This is super super cute cute recipe. This is it. <laughs> it's like pink dessert sandwich. Yay! Let's eat! Super cute! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Pink sandwiches. Let me eat it. I cannot wait to eat. Look! Cutest pink sandwiches you've ever seen. Look, look, look at the pink buns, pink cream, strawberry. Super cute! Super cute! Okay, so let me have this. Se no! Itadakimasu! <laughs> Yummy. So good. This is good. This is really good. Oh yeah. This is too cute and so good. I need one now. I cannot wait to make the savory one. I'm gonna get ingredients and I'm gonna make it. Definitely I'm gonna make it. Cannot wait. Mecha kawaii is mecha oishi. Thanks so much for my video. I hope you like my video, subscribe my channel, and follow me on Instagram. Hope you have things to ask for every day. Bye.